The National Democratic Congress government is one step closer to fulfilling its campaign promise to regularize contract workers and the public service, creating one public service with everyone appointed by the Public Service Commission. During a special press briefing on Wednesday by the Department of Public Administration, or the DPA, an update on the status of regularization of public workers was provided by Lindonna Hilaire Marshall, permanent secretary at the DPA. The regularization exercise is scheduled to start officially in October. So because we have been able to get the framework developed and approved through cabinet, we are in a position where the regularization process have already started. So we do have a number of persons who have already been confirmed. Hilaire Marshall said by regularizing workers, the government aims to create a more stable and productive public service, which will ultimately benefit both employees and the broader society. The regularization exercise covers all individuals engaged by the government of Grenada on a long-term permanent basis in keeping with regulations in an established, unestablished, temporary undocumented or non-employee mode whose status does not afford them security of tenure. What it does not cover, who it does not cover, are workers engaged on contract for service and such the like associated with projects that have a stipulated lifespan or third-party engagements. The process of regularization, a phased approach from 2023 to 2025, involves a thorough review of the current employment status of workers in the public sector, and a number of factors will be used to determine who will be regularized. The first phase, we would look at persons in acting temporary on assignment and probationary status on the establishment. And we are optimistic by the end of December 2023, we should complete the first phase of the regularization exercise. The second phase, which would look at persons holding PSC contract, contract of service, daily paid, and persons holding ministry letters, that phase we trust we would be able to advance through in 2024 and then we're going to be in a position to start looking at the third phase, which would look at people who are holding contracts for service, as well as the Imani trainees. The regularization will have a significant financial impact on the government's purse. The government now would be obligated to honor added increments, added French benefits, paid vacation leave, and of course, pension. Unions representing the public sector have been clamoring for regularization for a number of years. Labor representative in the Senate and president of the Technical and Allied Workers Union, Andre Lewis, following the Governor General's throne speech on Tuesday, said he's optimistic that the regularization of public workers would come to fruition. And the commitment given by this current administration while on the campaign trail that the fixed term contract is illegal and therefore we look forward very eagerly to have this matter resolved this year. And that is, and I repeat, that is one of the single most important has to do with the tenure of our members, especially in the public service. By regularizing workers, the government aims to improve the overall quality of the public service. Reporting for GBN News, Beverly